Hi, this is Dr. Rick Hofer. I am the author of the number one best-selling book on grant writing, Funded Successful Grant Writing for Your Nonprofit. Today I want to talk to you just a couple minutes about uh, grant writing mistakes. <laughs> I'm teaching a class now and I've been thinking a lot about how grant writers, uh, whether they're experienced or they're brand new, make mistakes and the kind of mistakes that they tend to make. And while I'm thinking about this, I've come up with a list of 18 different mistakes that I imagine I'll be talking uh, about for the next few months. It, it's that, that much detail. But the thing is that just this week I'm working with a couple of colleagues who are experienced grant writers. I'm working with an agency that is very experienced in writing and getting grants. So it's a huge surprise to me, but I've run into one problem, no, I'm sorry, I've run into one mistake that actually is turned out to have at least two different problems, but I've, I've had to deal with these uh, this week. But let, let's get to the issue. The issue is a big mistake that, that I want to point out is that the, the grant opportunity, the RFA, the RFP, whatever you want to call it, the request for proposals was not, was not adequately read by the people who end up causing problems for everyone else. So that's the major mistake, not reading everything about the RFP thoroughly many times to get all the details before you start writing. Now obviously, as you start writing, you're going to go back and you're going to look at each section uh, and make sure that you've got everything and you're going to cross those T's and dot the I's. But this one basic problem of not reading properly and thoroughly and often the RFP has led to these two different problems that we've had to solve with the deadline looming in just two days. So the first problem was uh, we were asked, my team and I were asked to uh, write up the evaluation section of the, of the grant proposal. And uh, we had a conversation and everything went fine. And we were told, okay, you only have uh, 200 words to write this. Well, that's hardly enough, but that's what the RFP said, 200 words. So the three of us got together. I, I drafted the initial one. I got some help from my colleagues who refined it and made it better and uh, we got it turned in the next day. I mean, we had a fast turnaround. Um, and that was great, all right? So that was uh, a few days ago. And then just yesterday, we got an email from the lead person on the agency side who said, uh, oops, uh, we forgot to uh, read the RFP thoroughly. And it turns out you don't have 200 words altogether. You have 200 words in each of these four sections. So that's really a total of 800 words. Well, that would have been great if we'd known about that to start with, but as it was, all right, we pulled together. We, uh, we, I wrote a draft and my colleagues are refining it, uh, so that's good. And then I think, okay, that's good. Uh, we got it done, but before I send it off, I'm going to just make sure that we're within those word counts, all right? That's pretty easy to do in Microsoft Word. You highlight all of the words and it tells you at the end bottom how many words there is. Well, my colleague who had done the revision and had done a revision of the revision of the other person sent it and said, okay, ready to go. When I checked the word count, it was 272. Okay, that's a lot more than 200. All right, so this is a, a, a mistake also about not paying attention to the details of what's in the RFP. So let me just recap here. Uh, sure, this is a personal story, but these are advanced people. These are experienced grant writers. These are experienced recipients of grants. So you would think that one wouldn't have to even say that they should read the RFP thoroughly. But we're all human. We all make mistakes. Just be aware that this is a bad mistake. Because just not being thoroughly uh, uh, in touch with what's in the RFP, you can end up making these little mistakes. And what happens if you turn in 272 words instead of 200? Well, who knows? They may throw the whole proposal out. They may just stop reading that word 200. Um, you just don't know. But it's putting in jeopardy your odds of getting that grant. 
So this is Dr. Rick Hofer. I'm the author of Funded, Successful Grant Writing for Your Nonprofit. You can get it on Amazon. I'm also authoring some short courses uh, about how to avoid mistakes and other things like that for grant writers. So stay tuned. Look, if you like this video, be sure and comment below. That would mean a lot to me. Also, you can share it, you can like it, and you can do uh, other things like that to help other grant writers and other people um, do what they need to do better. Okay? So, thanks for watching. And uh, you can also, oh yeah, be sure and sign up for my email list at richardhofer.com. And, and I'll see you on the other side there. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you later.